question number 5c of exercise 2e but before moving further let's analyze the difference between the two cases this is case number 2 of question number 5c and i have taken case number 1 from question number 4f so just have a look and have a look and see and analyze what is the difference between these two cases so in the first case we can see that suppose i have selected x variable we can clearly see that in this case the coefficient of x variables 3 and 9 in which 3 is the divisor and 9 is the multiple like there is a relationship between these two coefficients but in this case case number 2 we can see that there is no relationship between these two coefficient and we all know that for the elimination method we need to have same coefficient so what we were doing in case number one is that we have seen that three and nine uh, nine is the multiple of three and uh, you know three multiplied by three is equals to nine so i will do i will simply take the equation that has the divisor and multiply it with the divisor of 9 so that I can get 9x and now uh, the first requirement of our elimination method is fulfilled in which we have to have coefficient of x variable same okay so here we were dealing with only one equation in order to get, get same coefficient now here what is happening uh, in this question number 5c 10x and 3x has no relationship see uh, i cannot do anything with 10x to make it 3x or i cannot multiply 3x with any of the number to get 10x why because they are not multiples of each other so what i'm going to do is let me delete this one i hope you've understood understood the difference so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to take lcm of 10 and 3 and whatever lcm will come i will multiply this that number uh, with the equations to make the uh, coefficient into the result of our LCM. So the LCM of 10 and 3 is we know 30. So how can I make this 10x change? Uh, how can I change this 10x into 30? Simple. I know that 30 divided by 10 is 3. So I will multiply this equation with 3. And this is 3. How can I make this 3? Uh, how can I change this 3 into 30? Simple. I will multiply this 3 with 10 uh, not only this 3 the whole equation with 10 in order to get 30 so let's jump to the solution and see how we are going to do it so solution now first of all let's call this equation equation a and equation b and we have we have already decided that we are taking x variable so what are we going to do that I've already told you how we are going to uh, change these coefficient into same coefficients okay so multiply equation a with 3 in order to make it make it make 30 x with uh, multiply equation B with 10 to get 30x in equation B. So what we get is equation A will become 30x minus 9y is equals to 24.5 multiplied by 3 is 73.5 and equation B will be 
30x minus 50y is equals to 135. 13.5 multiplied by 10 is 135. Now, next step, we have to eliminate our x variable. So, how can we eliminate it? We can see that they both have the positive sign. If I'm going to add them, there will be no use. We cannot eliminate it. It will be 60x. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to subtract. Okay, now this equation calls C and this is D. So, the next step would be, subtract C and subtract D. So, after subtraction, sign changes, we know. So this is 30x, 30x cancel. Now, all we have is 50 minus 9. That would be 41y is equals to minus 61.5. All right. So, that's going to be uh, y, y is equals to minus 1.5. All right. Now, this 1.5 I am going to put in equation, let's say C. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, y in c. Okay, it's going to be 30x minus 9 multiplied by 1.5. Okay, that's minus 1.5 is equals to. Seventy-three point five. Okay, so thirty x minus minus plus nine multiplied by one point five is thirteen point five is equals to seventy-three point five. And that means x is equals to 73.5 minus 13.5 is 60 upon 30. 0, 0 cancel. 3, 1 is a 3. 3, 2 is a 6. So the value of x is 2.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more updates.